In today's tutorial video, we shall be looking at this problem on resultant of a vector. In this case, resultant force. And what is the resultant force? This can be described as the total amount of force acting on an object or body along with the direction of the body. So we want to find the effective force acting at this uh, point. Okay, this is one of the forces. This is the angle, 30 degrees. This is 150 Newton. This is 100 Newton, all acting at this point. We want to find the effective force, the resultant force. How do we go about it? So we resolve these forces into components. We resolve these forces into components. So we resolve these forces into components. How do we go about it? Solution. So first, uh, let's redraw this. So we have, this is point O. So we have, this is 150 Newton. And towards the south, we have 100 Newton. And this is, uh, this is 60 Newton. This is 30 degrees, the angle of inclination. So we want to resolve this force now. It's having angle 30 degrees. We want to resolve it horizontally and vertically. So how do we go about it? Let us draw a line to pass through this point. So call this the north side, call this the east. Of course, this side will be west and this side will be what? South. So how do we resolve this uh, force to have a horizontal component and a vertical component? Okay, let us now uh, write, let us take this as our y. Let's take this as our y. Okay, to represent the vertical component of this vector and use x to represent the horizontal component. So from this uh, trigonometric uh, relation, so ka, toa, we shall be using this to resolve this. So uh, this is angle 90 degrees, so this is the hypotenuse. So if I want to find the vertical component of this force, this is opposite upon hypotenuse that is sine, or say sine 30, 30 degrees equals opposite upon sine what? 30 degrees. And what is 60 sine 30 degrees? 60 sine 30 degrees is just, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this is 30 watts, uh, Newton, of course, they want to find the uh, effective component of this uh, force along the vertical axis. So this is 30 watts Newton. Now let us find the horizontal component of this force, 60 Newton, along the along this x-axis. So we say this is adjacent of my hypotenuse, cos. So we say cos 30, cos 30 degrees equals adjacent upon hypotenuse. So that x will be 60 cos 30. And cos 30 is a uh, uh, root 3 upon 2. So this is just 30 root 3. So if we resolve it further, we we'll find out that this will be 51.96. So 51.96 is uh, Newton. You now see that this. Uh, this diagram now is now looking in this manner. This is this is 150. We have found the horizontal component of this force, so it will be plus 51.96. Now look at this. This is the vertical component. Of course, this side is the same as this side, and we have it as what? We have it as 30 newton. And what we have down here is a uh, hundred uh, newton. You see, to find the sum, the effective uh, force along this vertical, since they are in opposite direction, we have to subtract hundred minus thirty is seventy, and it should be downward. So we have it as seventy. Okay, we have it as this will look like this. So we have this as seventy watts newton. This is point what oh. So this is now making angle 90 degrees here. We can, um, we can, okay. So we say 150 plus 51.96. So I have approximately 
two o towards newton so we can use pythagoras rule to find the resultant force so if we use pythagoras rule to find the resultant force what are we having so of course this will be what 17 newton this will be r so from pythagoras rule the square of the hypotenuse equals the square of the two other sides so we have 202 square plus 70 square so that r will be square root of 202 square plus 70 square and if we do this we have approximately 213.8 newton so this is the resultant force acting at this point so how do we find the the, how do we find the direction of this force? So to find the direction of this force, previously we have this. This is this is 202 newton. This is 70 newton, and this is 0. 0.0. So we want to find the direction of this force. Let us label this uh, theta. Let's find this angle. Of course, this is this will be uh, south, and this will be east. Okay, this will be uh, not. This will be not. So uh, let us find theta. So we want to find the direction. Let's call this theta and call this uh, alpha. So if we say opposite upon adjacent, of course this will be 90 degrees. Previously, as we had it, opposite upon adjacent. So we say tan theta equals opposite upon adjacent. So if we divide this, what are we having? We have 2.886. So that pan theta will be 2.886. If we find the tan inverse of this value, 2.886, we have uh, 70.89 degrees. So this is 70.89 degrees. And if we want to find alpha, it will be 180 minus this is uh, 90 and this is 70.89 degrees so sum of angle in a triangle so this gives us the the uh okay let's call this alpha okay call this alpha so this gives us if we uh, subtract this we have 19.11 what degrees so looking at this now we can see that the resultant force is 19.11 east east of south so look at the direction from south to east so we can say that the direction is 19.11 degrees east of south it's coming from south look at it now east of what south so we can write it as um, east 19.11 degrees uh, south so this is the direction so you can always find it in terms of maybe north and south or what have you if you have actually enjoyed this uh, video do well to give it a like subscribe for updates like this we uh, upload videos on mathematics and sciences for O level, A level, and undergraduates. Thank you for listening. This is Nesalefa Academy, and we are signing out.